Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be talking about the rate of change, which is also known as slope. Okay, we're going to show how to go ahead and find the rate of change in three different situations. So the first one, we're given two points, and we're simply going to look for the, the change in y and the change in x, or the horizontal change and the vertical change. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this, okay? So our vertical change is 2, and our horizontal change is 6. So we're going to pick a starting point. Here's our starting point. So we're going to go 6 to the right, and we're going 2 up. And I'll remind you that the, the rate of change, or slope is also known as m, is delta y over delta x, which is change in y over change in x. And here's the formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. So the vertical change is 2. And the horizontal change is 6. I can simplify that. They're both divisible by 2. So this becomes 1 third. And it's positive. You'll notice that lines that have uh, positive, uh, positive slopes or positive rates of change are going up from left to right. Negative ones are going down from left to right. OK, let's check this one out. So we're going here and here. So our, let's say we start here. So our horizontal change is 1. Our vertical change is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be 4 over 1. OK. Right here we got a starting point here, it goes to here, so we're going 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is our horizontal change, 1 is the vertical change, so it's 1 fourth and it's positive. Here, oh, we have a negative slope, check this out. Okay, so we're starting here, we're going down 2 and then right 3. So 2 thirds. You'll notice that when we go down, that's a negative motion, and to the right is a positive motion, so it's negative 2 thirds. You can also tell by looking at it, it's a negative slope or a negative rate of change. Here, there's another positive slope. We're going to go horizontal change of 2, vertical change of 3, so 3 over 2. And it's positive. Here is an interesting one. This is called undefined. Okay, there's a little trick here. If you have a vertical line, it's like the side of a U, undefined. Right? I learned that a long time ago. And here, if, you, if, it, was, if it was perfectly uh, horizontal, it would be the top of a Z, and that would stand for 0 slope. So in this case, this is undefined. A little note that helps. Yeah, so if you see one that's going flat across like this, that'd be a zero slope. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's check these out. Here we are. Okay, so we're given a bunch of equations. Okay. These are written in slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Okay. The rate of change is the m, so it's a slope. And then the B is the y-intercept. Okay, I should probably zoom in here. I kind of wrote that kind of small. So let's start with this one, actually. So here we have our B is here, our M is here. So I'll just write above it. So y equals mx plus B. Our M is this negative sign, which is also negative 1. Right? So negative 1 is our rate of change. Here we're going to go 6 fifths. That's our rate of change, so 6 fifths. Pretty straightforward here, guys. This is going to be negative 1 fourth, so negative 1 fourth. These two are different. We're going to go over those in a moment. This is one third, so rate of change is one third. Now here, y is not changing. So if you if you imagine if you imagine a line where the y value is not changing, that means it's the y is going to be constant, right? It'd be a flat line, it'd be a horizontal line, and that has a zero slope. Here, and these two, this is also going to be a flat line. It's going to be a zero slope as well. Okay? If it was x equals something, it'd be undefined. All right, here's the ones that take a little bit of time here. So we're going to use our slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We're going to use that to solve this. We have x1, y1, and x2, y2. So let's plug them in. Negative 9 minus 13 and 12 minus 9. So 9 minus 13 is going to be negative 22. And 12 take away 9 is positive 3. And that's it. You can't simplify that. Here we have x1, y1, and x2, y2. So our y2 is negative 17 minus 9. And then 18 is our x2 minus negative 16. So we have a double negative here, so it's going to become plus. So negative 17 minus 9 is negative 26. And then this becomes plus. So I'm going to rewrite that actually. 18 plus 16. 18 plus 16, I believe, is 34. So negative 26 over 34. Uh, they're both divisible by 2, so it's going to become negative 13 over 17. And that's it. Oh, I'm off camera there. Sorry, hold on. There we go. All right, here we got x1, y1. The most important part, honestly, when you start these is make sure you label the points like this. That way you don't make a mistake. Although, watch me make a mistake now, unless I already have. 
y sub 2 is negative 3 minus y sub 1, which is negative 13. You have a double negative here. Don't forget that. And then negative 2 minus negative 7. So we're going to rewrite these. So negative 3 plus 13 and negative 2 plus 7. Don't just make a plus sign here. Don't do that. Uh, students do that. Typically see them make silly mistakes. So take the time to rewrite it before you do that. Negative 3 plus 13 is 10. And then negative 2 plus 7 is 5. 10 over 5 is 2. Okay. All right. x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So 12 minus negative 12, and then 3 minus 19. So double negatives and become 24. And 3 minus 19 is going to be negative 16. Uh, we can definitely simplify this. They're both divisible by 8, so it would be 3 over 2. Negative 3 over 2. Okay, these last two here. <clears throat> x1, y1, and then x2, y2. So 9 minus 9, and then negative 17 minus negative 5. But it doesn't really matter because we're going to get 0 on the top. So 0 divided by negative 17 plus 5, 0 over negative 12, 0 slope. You can tell because, look, the y value is not changing. So here we got x1, y1, and x2, y2. So 15 minus negative 3 and 3 minus 1. Change that to 15 plus 3. And 3 take away 1 is 2. 15 plus 3 is 18. 18 over 2 is 9. Okay. All right, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. I went really quickly there, so hope I didn't go too fast. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on this. And I will see you guys soon. All right, take it easy.